Okay, once I've chosen my gloss level, I'm also gonna choose my color. There are pictures on the outside of most of these buckets that are gonna give you an idea of what the color will turn out like. Now this is chemistry, so it's never quite perfect, but we can get an indication from that little blob. All right, when I open it up, you notice that there's like water kind of sitting on top. So if I don't stir up my glaze, I'm just basically gonna be um, painting dirty water onto my pot and it's obviously not gonna give me a good result. So I'm gonna grab my drill or a hand whisk, pop it in there and yes, it does splash and it is messy and it can stain. it's pretty well mixed I drag my drill across the bottom if I feel any thick sludgy stuff I've got to keep drilling keep mixing this one's in good shape it's also pretty much the texture of a like a melted milkshake that's what we want if it's like pudding then come and get me and we'll add more water to it okay. once I'm done with my drill bit if I just leave it on the counter and it dries, it's going to be a pain, pain, pain to clean. So over here we have our rinse bucket. Give it a whirl. Look how fast that was to clean. Easy peasy. All right, 